press conference with Fulton de Kock. May I please, as usual, ask you to indicate on the chat panel as to who you would like, who would like to go first, and then we'll take it from there. Um, I see a conversation between <laughs> um, Ken and Sim, so we'll just start with Ken. Sorry, I was just saying that I see uh, Mohammed, Faisan, and Stuart have snuck in ahead of me if they want to go. Well, sorry. Okay, um, let's start with, we'll start with Ma Mohammed, Faisan, Stuart. And then yeah, okay, so Quentin, uh, how demoralizing was it to, uh, how demoralizing was this loss? Because you were on top at the end of the first day. So where would you say that you lost this, where would you say that you lost this game? Um, yeah, to be honest, I think we actually, you know, at, at the end of the day, yeah, we, we were ahead, but it's not really where we wanted to be in the game. Um, 220 on that record first innings isn't good enough. Um, especially when you pop to bat first, we, you need a big first inning score. Um, I know that we had them 44-4 or something like that. Um, obviously that's a great start in our bowling innings, but that's, that's the second innings. Uh, we did let ourselves down in the first innings. That was the, the, you know, that was the point in the game where we let ourselves down the most. Hi, Zan. Couldn't you still had a chance when uh, Pakistan in first inning by 27 or 4? But uh, do you think uh, you could have done better with the ball as well? Your spinners could have done better? Um, if there is, I'd like to know how what we didn't do right. Because um, I think, you know, I think they, they bowled really well. But I remember they weren't going at a big run rate um, for most of their time in the innings until the later part of the, the second innings they caught up. Um, that's what I remember. So I think our bowlers bowled really well and we kept the pressure on them. It's just um, uh, if I would just kept batting and just kept and just kept holding the pressure. That was, you know, and it's just good batting, good solid test cricket in that situation of the game for them just needed. So that was, yeah, so well played to him and I thought our guys bowled really well. Stuart followed by Ken. Uh, hi, Quentin. Um, you know, in three of the last four test innings by South Africa, there's, there's been these really big batting collapses. I was wondering if, if, if you were able to explain why they were happening and how you could go about resolving them. Sure. Trust me, if I knew, I would let you know. And if we knew how to fix them, we wouldn't be doing it in the first place. Um, so, yeah, um, we have spoken about it. We are trying to find a way how to, how to stop it. But fortunately, it's you know, we're not, these collapses are not happening on purpose. Um, you know, so that's something we are trying to figure out ourselves. So, so yeah. Kenny? Uh, Hotline is Quinton, hi. Um, you mentioned in, in the uh, TV presentation, uh, the first innings and soft dismissals. Do you feel that maybe the guys um, are getting a bit stuck at the crease, can't rotate the strike and then, and then almost out of frustration, uh, the big shot gets played? Um, yeah, I think the way the, the way the pitch is playing, um, you know, you, especially the first thing, it felt like such a good wicket um, that you, that you over, when you got a little bit bogged down, that you had to try and find a way to get scoring. But, you know, then we saw in there the way they batted, um, that wasn't the case. You know, you had to stick in and dig deep. Uh, you know, they didn't really go over the top a lot. Um, you know, when they did, it only did when they were in. Um, so that was one learning we did take out. I mean, as you could see in in our second innings batting, obviously in the third innings, the way Rassi and Aiden went about it, they scored runs in a similar sort of fashion. They took their time, kept the ball on the ground, uh, soak up the pressure, and when the time came, they, they scored where they could. Um, so that's what the learning we did take out, out of it. Um, so yeah, I think that's a big thing. Up next is Fidoz Talford and Aram. Hi, Kuni. Can I just ask a, about team selection? I know obviously uh, Shama got injured 
just before play, but is there something else you would look at doing ahead of the next test in terms of maybe a seam bowling all rounder or other combinations in the batting lineup? Uh, those, to be honest, the game's just finished, so I haven't really thought about it. Not yet. Um, Quentin, it's been a really tough few years for South Africa in the, the subcontinent. Um, I know the conditions are obviously very different from what you know you guys face at home and, and everywhere else, actually. But is it is it all down to the conditions, or is there is there some kind of mental problem with South Africa? I'm playing in the subcon. I think I've seen what India has just done, um, but also it's slow going for both sides of the teams. We lost wasn't our best. I think. I think, I think that's where you're getting at. Um, so, yeah, you know, we want to get better. Obviously, it was mistakes from a batting thing. So that's a good step going forward. Um, so, yeah, look, I, I know our, our, our record of subcontinent never the great, it's not the greatest. Uh, we have won a couple of series. Um, I've been part of a couple. It's just a matter of finding that way to... Get through the around followed by Shreve. I've already asked. Okay. Um apologies. Shreve? Yes. Uh, hi Captain. Uh, Pakistan uh, beat you on the fourth day of the test. Uh, it means now Pakistan. Uh, will not lose this series, and you cannot win this series. Uh, your players are uh, surviving with uh, injuries. Uh, Elgar have a hand injury, and Tabriz is also not fit. So what do you think? Now uh, South Africa is under more pressure uh, for second test? Um, oh, like I said, we haven't... Our game's just finished. We've had other things on our mind. Uh, we haven't really got to thinking about that stuff yet, but try to just have a look at him. Looks like Shamo is, is getting fully fit again, and obviously Dean is busy finding out. So I was just wondering, even if not, even if they're not fit, we've got suitable replacements anyway. And just um, to let everybody know, Dean does have a bruised um, left hand, but he is looking to be um, available for the second test. Uh, this is Madam. Um, Daniel, and then. Uh, hi. Um, uh, how would you evaluate the differences in performance between uh, Noman Ali and Yasusha and George Linder and uh, uh, Keshav Maharaj? Do you think the spin, uh, the difference in quality was perhaps the difference, uh, made the difference in the outcome at this test? Sorry, Daniel. Can you just repeat that, please? There was a bit of interruption from noise somewhere. Um, can you ask your question? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go again. How do you how do you evaluate the difference between the South African spinners and the Pakistani spinners? Do you think perhaps um, that's where um, the most telling difference was in this test that made the difference in the outcome as well? Um, well, obviously, you know, I think generally, um, you know, I think it wasn't really the bowlers; it's just the batsmen that was just the difference at the end of it. Um, the way they played the spins, the way we did in our first innings. And the later half of our second innings also. I think that's just, just the, the bigger things, not really our bowling. Um, you know, it's, like I said in my previous answer, it's the way they've they went about it, from soaking up the pressure and the way it's hard to go about batting in these in these uh, situations. Um, so it's just, just more about that. I wouldn't say really too much about the bowling. Now Samuel, you've got the last question for Clinton. Uh, Pini, I just want to ask that uh, you played for the first time here in Pakistan. Uh, not a good start, obviously. So I just want to ask that where your confidence stands uh, right now as far as playing spin bowling is concerned. Like if you see uh, Yasir Shah and Noman, the way they dominated your batting line. So any anything you want to mention here about playing spin? Uh, I think we... Look, to be honest, I think the first innings, we actually gave them our wickets, to be honest. 
Um, so I think we'd be quite all right. Um, second innings, obviously, it was one or two good nuts, but you know, that's part of the game. You're going to get one or two good nuts. Um, so I'm sure we, we're still fine. Um, just going to go back, uh, just prepare like we did, just come back mentally stronger.